Hey guys, this is the uh, European Gamer back for another expert review. Uh, if you're wondering how I got this day a day, uh, game a day early, um, it's already on on installs. Um, apparently someone's smoking a lot of pot in this room because I see smoke like everywhere. This is a cool thing, you can pick your level when you hit continue. The bad thing, you don't get to um, restart at your checkpoint. If you, let's turn subtitles on, if you have, um, like, gotten almost to the end of a level and then you get out of the app, you'll have to start right at the beginning of the level again, so that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, here we go. Bam, bam. Um, this is a really cool sequence here. Um, I'm not sure of many CIA agents that actually do that, so this game isn't that realistic. Very much like James Bond, uh, the ground kind of looks like lava right now. Kind of bad lighting effects. And, don't you just wish you could do that? It, I wish I had, like, the kind of muscle or agility to do that. I'm gonna be gone for, like, three weeks, though, so don't expect me to do any videos. <coughs> Alright, here we go. This game is very good. I would recommend the game to any spy lover. Uh, that didn't sound very appropriate. But, yeah, uh, this is not like Splinter Cell. A lot of people are comparing it to Splinter Cell. It's really not. It's really a good game. Um, has a lot of different kinds of interface, unlike Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell was a bad game. It, I mean, all you did was run around and shoot people, kind of like Modern Combat 2. Um, and it didn't have multiplayer. I'll have a multiplayer and a completely different review. It should be in the comments. Uh, not in the comments. It should be in the description. If I've put it there yet. I might not have made the video yet, so don't complain about it. Um, yeah, it has a lot of bunch of different things here. You get in a copter. Uh, you... You have scenes kind of similar to, um, 9mm, where you, uh, swipe to drive something and stuff like that. Uh, okay, here we go. I don't s this, this is impossible. This must be Superman, because he was just shot down by, like, a gunner, and it's like, oh, okay, let's just walk it off. He'll just walk it off. He'll be in the next Olympics. For sure. Um, okay. Yeah. This game is much longer than 9mm. 9mm was very, very short. This game, I've already been playing it for over, like, two hours, and I've not finished it. It's, it's really good. I'm expecting it to be a very long game. And very satisfying. Okay. People do not suspect me. You play as three different people. Uh, right now, I'm a guy who I think is the master of stealth. You also play as a master of, um, I think just weapons, and you also play as a girl who is very good with vehicles. Um, I die here in a few seconds, so, yeah, this is a very hard room to complete. You only survive about three shots, and you don't even see him die, you don't even fall, but... You only survive about three shots, so that might annoy you, but right now I'm basically filled with testosterone, and I need to kill everyone by hand. So that's pretty much what I do, just to show you what it's like, and because I have a lot of testosterone in my body right now. Oh, yeah! That was pretty beast. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a very good montage of this game. Uh, you know, like a trailer kind of montage, um, just because of how good the fighting sequences are, um, I really like it when you knee someone, it looks as if you're, like, kneeing them in the crotch, it usually makes me laugh, uh, okay, this is not supposed to be a funny game, it's very serious, um, not as serious as 9mm though, that, that was really serious, this isn't that realistic, but it gets the job done, one for gamers. Alright, I'm gonna 
shut up for a second just to let you watch the gameplay. Thought I was gonna die, but I got very lucky there. I was like jumping out of my seat. And don't think I ha don't have a life either. I mean, I do stuff with my day. Like I said, I'm going to Europe. I go out, play basketball with my friends. So I don't think I'm like just sitting here playing video games all day because that's not what I do. Um, I don't really, I don't, I stopped here to look at that painting. I'm not really sure what it is. It kind of looked like a portal of, not a portal, like a black hole of water and whatever that other stuff was, seminal fu fluid. Oh, uh, okay. I had no idea what to do here. Finally, I found the stairs. Uh, the game froze. I thought it was gonna crash on me. And there we go. Cutscene. Holy shit, it really is hands. The cutscenes are usually not like this. The cutscenes are usually really awesome, because you'll get cutscenes where it'll be almost look like movie quality cutscenes, like real people. Um, like some games do. It does that very well. Um, the graphics are much better than people think. Uh, the interface is beautiful. As you can see, it's a very stable game. I'm not having any crash issues, and I'm using my recorder on this. That makes most games crash, but I've noticed uh, Gameloft has started making some really stable games. Uh, they've really been working on that. Like, Backstab was not a stable game. It crashes even when I don't use... Um, display recorder. Uh, I am making a new video to show you guys how I recorded my screen. Because uh, a lot of people are begging me to do that and telling me they'll subscribe. So yeah. I wanted to come kill myself here, but I actually was not able to kill myself until that very moment. And, yeah. So, I died. Uh, I forgot to turn my recorder off here. So, it goes on for another minute or two, but I'll probably just cut that off. Remember, every time you subscribe, Rumpelstiltskin will come to your house and grant you a wish. See ya.